found out that Barbies adore chocolate, enjoy cornflakes, love Nutella, and chew gum, too. And Ken turned out to be a big coffee fan. Find out what sweets are dolls eat in our new video. Someone left a whole jar of Nutella with a note that says, Don't touch me! Dolly gets carried away and finishes the spread. And what should I do with the note? Let's blame it all on Barbie. She's the one who decreased the jar. Cut a cap of a spray bottle with a heated knife. Cut off the top of a syringe plunger. Trace the cap on foil. Cut it out. Hot glue a smaller foam rubber sheet circle to the foil. And attach the plunger piece on top. That'll be the lid. Fill the mini jar with Nutella. Cover it with the lid. Attach a small printed Nutella label. Jessica comes back to get her Nutella, but she only finds traces of chocolate on Dolly's face. Dolly assures her that it's Barbie's fault. The chocolate evidence suggests something else. Well, it looks like I will have to eat the little serving of Nutella. Mmm! It smells exactly like the real thing, because it is real and delicious. And Barbie doesn't like that she was blamed for no reason. Plus, she doesn't have her Nutella anymore. Well, watch out, Dolly! The girls are eating cornflakes. Just add milk and eat. It's so delicious! The package on the table starts moving all of a sudden. Is there a poltergeist in the room? Dolly thinks that it's just a hallucination. But she's wrong. It's Barbie stealing the entire pack of cereal. And she turns it into a mini doll-sized box. Dampen cornflakes with water. Make small circles using a straw. Put the mini flakes onto a plate and dry them in a microwave for one and a half minutes. Coat an empty matchbox with acrylic paint. Take out the inside part. Insert a self-adhesive paper cap into the box. Cover the bottom with a strip of paper. Color the cap and the bottom with acrylic paint. Attach a mini cornflake label. Put in the mini flakes. Barbie takes the tiny package of flakes for herself. She also loves breakfast cereals. Dolly is the only witness of the crime. Jessica was too busy with her thoughts to notice Barbie. She doesn't believe Dolly's story. You'd rather admit it was you who ate the entire package? An interesting movie and candies are a match made in heaven. But Dolly just can't relax. She feels like Barbie's watching her and waiting for revenge. Dolly is anxious. One clumsy move, and Barbie makes the Starburst package doll-sized. Cut a Starburst into thin slices. Divide them in half and shape little squares. Print a little package on self-adhesive paper and attach it to a layer of foil. Fasten the package with double-sided tape. Put in the mini candies. Close the package. Dolly is puzzled. Her regular package of candies became so teeny. I will have to give it to Barbie. There is nothing I can do. When Jessica stretches her hand to get a candy, there is nothing there. What's going on? Where do all my candies keep going? Dolly pins the blame on Barbie again. But clever Barbie goes missing. This is way too much. Jessica won't put up with her friend's lies. Barbie's evil plots make Dolly feel uncomfortable. Dolly assures her friend that she's not lying and Barbie actually came to life. Let's set a trap for Barbie on the table. We'll bait her with a tube of chewing gum. And now we hide and watch. Barbie is already here. She comes to get the gum and turns it into its mini copy. Cut the seam off a miniature plastic tube. Fill the tube with liquid bubble gum. Seal the cut with the heated nozzle of a hot glue gun. Coat the tube and the cap with acrylic paints. Attach a mini label. Wow! 
Wow! Doll magic is real! Barbie really can make things small. Now Jessica has seen it all with her own eyes. Jessica can't believe what she's seen. She has been dreaming about living dolls since she was a child. At last, her dream came true. But Dolly's scared. Don't worry. Let's eat some tasty chocolate and forget about problems. Jessica's already planning to become famous with her TV show about living dolls. And Barbies do not take too long. They are already here with miniature chocolate bars in their hands. Melt a piece of Toblerone in a double boiler. Fold foil a few times. Add a layer of parchment paper. Place the melted chocolate on parchment paper. Shape a triangular bar out of chocolate. Let it harden in a fridge. Even out the edges with a knife dipped in hot water. Copy the divisions like the ones on the original Toblerone bar. Print out a little package on self-adhesive paper. Attach it onto foil. Cut off the excess and fold up a box. Put in the mini chocolate. One Barbie has a real Toblerone in her hand. It's exactly the same as Dolly's, except that it's so tiny. The other Barbie is holding an itsy bitsy bounty. Next thing you know, she'll eat it all. Cut a bounty bar. Separate the chocolate from the filling. Melt the chocolate. Apply a strip of chocolate onto parchment paper with a fondant tool. Put the coconut filling on top and cover it with melted chocolate. Copy the shape of the original bar. Let the chocolate harden. Make a bounty package out of a printed label and foil. Put in mini bars. The girls understand that the dolls have come in peace. They are ready to share their little sweets. The war is over. How cute! These tiny candies are amazing! Thanks, Barbie! But once the girls put the dolls next to themselves, they mysteriously disappear. Where did they go? The friends start looking for their dolls. Where are their secret headquarters? Their plastic legs couldn't have taken them far. The girls have looked everywhere. Suddenly, they hear music playing from a shelf. It's a party! The dolls arranged a celebration in the loft on the third shelf. And they brought along all the doll food they found today. And Ken even brought a little cup of coffee. Cut an empty paper cup. Trace a mini cup template. Cut out, wrap, and fasten a mini cup. Attach a fitting cardboard bottom using double-sided tape. For the mini cap, take a little circle out of the big lid and hot glue a smaller foam rubber sheet circle to it. Prick a hole with an awl. Attach a mini Starbucks logo. Pour in coffee using a pipette. Put on the cap with a little wire straw. Dolly sees a cup of Starbucks coffee in Ken's hands. The one she lost this morning. Now she understands where it went. Is this all actually revenge for her mean Nutella joke? Dolly is angry. That's so rude. But Barbie offers a truce. She wants to treat the girls with little cookies in a gesture of friendship. Crumble Belvita cookies in a Ziploc bag. Dampen the crumbs with water. Use a spoon to shape an oval mini cookie. Let it dry. Attach a little printed package with allowances to foil. Fold a package with a ruler. Fasten it with double-sided tape. Put in the cookie. Jessica accepts Barbie's present. How kind of you! There is also one more teeny cookie for Dolly. 
And these minis taste exactly like the real ones. Dolly and Barbie make up. So it means that the sweet party can continue. Did you like our miniature Barbie sweets? Then write in the comments which candy you would treat your doll with. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so that you don't miss new doll food on Troom Troom.